Hello, what is up guys? Today we are ranking all Mimic Lanterns what we have in the tier 2 D to S. Uh, D is the lowest and S is the highest rank and we have 23 lanterns so let's get right into this. So first we will have the regular OG lantern. It's this kind of lantern what every person who plays chapter 2 on book 1 have. Uh, it's not very bright but it is good so I will actually put it into B tier. Nothing special but it's a very decent lantern. Now it's time to rate the witch trial as the nightmare lantern. And at the same time I'm recording right now this video is actually sad because there is no difference having this lantern or if you would have no lantern because there's like no brightness at all. I will show you that in a second. And that's why I have to put it actually into D tier what's the worst ranking in the land no differences using this lantern or using actually no lantern now it's time to move to the shikoku challenger lantern it's pretty hard to get it's one of the hardest challenges also brightness of this lantern it's okay um i love the animation and the designs so actually i will put this lantern into c tier and the next lantern what we are going to rate is the OJ Hayachi Request Lantern with the ghoul black ha uh, hat. It is, I, th I think, the rarest lantern. Only 40,000 people have it. I think the light is okay. I will put it into A tier only because of the cool hat. And now we move to the VIP line. I have very actually mixed feeling about that a little time ago it was actually one of the brightest lanterns in the mimic but now it has less brightness than even the, the normal lantern in the game and less than this 2x lantern as well it is 599 robux okay you will get the cool lip tag also but i have to put it actually into c tier because even the design okay the design look design looks decent but if we are just looking the brightness and the light range it is in one way actually like i don't know not worth it i feel it could get a little bit buff and it would be okay but right now i, I need to put it into c tier now we move to the books to chapter 2 normal lantern i'm not sure about the design looks um, a little bit normal but i like this animated eye in the middle of the lantern also the range of that lantern is pretty solid so i will give it an a now it's time to move to the saigoma lantern so as i have stated before in my last video you can watch it out later uh, I will give the link later. As I have stated before, I don't like the Saigoma boss fight at chapter 4 book 1 at the end. But I must say the Saigoma lantern is definitely worth it. The design already looks very cool. And the light range, it actually looks like some kind of lighthouse when ships are coming on, on, on the sea and then there's this lighthouse thing. It looks very cool and the range of the light is very very cool or, or like very far. And that's why this is the first lantern actually what we are going to put into S tier what's the highest at the all in this video. Now we have the book 2 chapter 1 nightmare lantern. I must say it's not the brightest but it's definitely a good lantern. I also like the design and animation so it's a solid A. And now we move to the nightmare 3 eyed lantern and this was expensive. It was 1200 with the robuxes in my opinion it's kind of worth the animations looks very cool and this is one of the brightest lanterns in the game currently so that's why i will put it straight into s tier now we are moving to the campus lantern and the length range is very good and the most impressive thing of this lantern is the animations where you have mo uh, monster moving their uh, mouth and then uh, like their breath comes out of the mouth and it's like cold you can see this animation and that's why i think it's a very cool lantern and i will put it actually into a tier next we have the new hayachi request lantern it is brighter than the OG one with the big hat, so that's why I will put it into A tier. And now it's time to move to the Bunny Lantern. Uh, the Bunny Lantern we were able to get from the uh, Nightmare Circus uh, night uh, Nightmare Mode, and this lantern goes straight into S tier uh, because it is very very bright, and this lantern have also very very good range. So that's why I will put it into S tier. Now we move to the balloon lantern, what you can get on uh, Circus Nightmare normal mode. 
I love the floating animation and it looks good, the brightness is okay and the range is also okay. So I will put this into A tier. Now we have the QX Lantern and this I'm putting into A tier because it is better than the normal one and it is better than the VIP Lantern that costs 599 Robux and QX Lantern costs only 30 Robux so... I will put it, this lantern into A tier. Now it's time to move to the Suposhi lantern. This is one of those free lanterns uh, what you need to buy with coins, what you can get from book to chapter to nightmare. Um, I really like the monster moving animation, it looks cool and I really like this cozy brown and uh, light coming out of the lantern so I will put it into B tier. Now we are moving to the Nagisa lantern. This lantern has very good and strong green light and it takes over a lot of light like let's say you take the bunny lantern and then a geese lantern then you more see this green color then you see the white color and yeah it's a very strong lantern i would put it into s tier if it would not be so big so yeah i will put it to an a tier because it is too big and it can distract a lot of people in game when like there's this chasing thin thing and uh, another person just can't see uh, what is going on when there's this big snake front over their head so yeah i will put it into a tier now we are moving to one of my favorite lantern i think and it is this pompon lantern i really love this blue blue color what's come up, coming out of the lantern and the small animated whale what is also there i will put it into b tier unfortunately because the light is not very strong but overall great lantern and great animation now we have those two halloween lanterns i like the design but because the brightness is exactly as the vip lantern i have to put them into c tier as well now we have the book two chapter one normal lantern it is kind of cool with those hands animating the light the lantern brightness is also okay so this goes into B tier. This lantern from book 1 chapter 2 Nightmare is actually the first lantern what was made in Mimi. It was great lantern back then but right now the brightness is not very good so I will have to put it sadly into C tier. And book 1 chapter 3 Nightmare Lantern was actually the first lantern what I got and back then it had this cool reviving effect like if you lost health you will get more like you will get health back sadly it was removed if it was not removed i would straight put it into s tier but right now because the brightness is also not very good i will put it into b tier and now we have the kusanoki lantern from book one chapter four when you beat the nightmare mode recently it got buffed and now also works like a lighthouse like saigon lantern so i will also put into s tier thank you very much for watching today's video see you next time bye